Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Sunday, the 17th of July, 2022. Uh, it is overcast as you can see today, but it's still nice and warm. And uh, before we get into this video, I just want to remind everybody uh, I will be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, we're going to be talking about solar flares coming off the sun. Uh, there is the weather lady, they call her, works for NASA, is talking about uh, getting hit by a large solar storm, solar flare, uh, on Wednesday. So we're going to be discussing that a little bit. But uh, So let's get in. The topic of this video, uh, we almost had a really, really, really bad situation happen last night. Luckily, um, it was avoided, thank goodness, but uh, it could have been very, very bad. So, we're, we're night people. We always have been, we always will be, so we're up at night a lot. Well, Heather's coming out to take the dogs out for their last run for the night. And uh, she gets the dogs, and they usually they run off this way first, and they go to the bathroom. And so Heather's looking... And she's looking over by the door of the chicken coop where the fence is. And she goes, what in the heck is that? So she gra gra gathers the dogs, calls the dogs, they come to her. She brings the dogs back in the house, thank goodness. Because what we had, there was a porcupine <laughs> trying to push into the fence because he was confused. He'd come into the area here, and obviously it's fenced in, and he can't get out. And so, um, I'm like, well, this is not fun. So, I came out. Um, I did bring the shotgun, just because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Uh, but I did. I don't like to kill anything unless I have to. Um, that is not really my agenda. Hey, get, get out of there. Um... So that's not my agenda. I don't want to kill anything if I don't have to. So, um, this is what I was wearing. I sh I'll show you. I had on my shorts, my slippers. That's what I was wearing, okay? Uh, so, I handed the shotgun to Heather, and I said, you just hold on to this. And I had a broom. So I came in, and uh, I was trying to get him to come towards the door here. But he unfortunately went around <laughs> that way. And I'm like, no, no, no. So I went around this way, headed him off behind the chicken coop, and started guiding him with the broom and trying to talk to him. Like, come on, come on, come on. And you can see he was scared. Um, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to hurt him. Uh, that was not my intention in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to get him out of the run. Um, so first of all, so he could get out. And so the, the dogs did not have an encounter with a porcupine because that could have ended very, very badly for the dogs, especially this one. Yes, so got him back around. He came around here. I worked him down the fence. And then he got, we have a little offshoot here. If you can see this area over here, it's kind of like a boxed in area. So he had come in and he was behind this tree here. Well, I didn't want to come up in here because he, I had to work him this way. So uh, I had Heather come around this side of the fence and, and kind of, you know, goad him and prod him. And we finally, so he's tried to come back that way. So I re-steered him back. Um, and then we finally got him to come out this way. We had the door wide open. And uh, he came through, went out, and went right into there. Um, I'm really happy to say that the wreck, or the porcupine was not harmed. I'm really happy to say that, uh, but yeah, it was definitely an interesting experience. Uh, I have not ever had to deal with a porcupine before, and uh, I obviously did not want to get any of the quills in me either, so I was keeping a very safe distance, a broom length distance away from the from the porcupine. But uh, So Heather said, you know what, maybe when we don't have the dogs in the run from now on, we should shut this door. And I said, you know what, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, if the dogs had been in here and they saw that porcupine, they would not have known better and they would have gone after it because that's just instinct. 
and it could have been a freaking mess with the dogs could have been a real mess and so I'm really happy to say that the porcupine was not hurt uh, the dogs were not hurt we got them out of here and so <laughs> but that was uh, that was an interesting uh, it was probably like 1 30 in the morning that this all happened so <laughs> it was a very interesting day um, but yeah hey what are you gonna do I mean these uh, when you live in the country uh, you're going to be dealing with animals and uh, so let's think about how that situation could have turned out dogs could have come in he was literally right over by the door pushing on the fence there um, it could have easily have been that they came in saw him and went right after him uh, this is their territory anything in their territory they're going to go after and where's that porcupine going to go? He did not know. All he had to do was come out this door and he would be fine. So it would have been a real bad situation because all three of the dogs could have ended up a, a big old mess uh, with that situation. So we got really, really fortunate that way. So, but, uh, hi buddy. Do you want to go in? Is that where you're calling me? Buddy is the man getting older now too all our, our a lot of our other our, you know like max buddy lucy socks they're all older cats now they're all older cats but we've had buddy for hey bob how you doing uh we've had buddy for eight years hi sister is that your boy toy on the phone? It is my boy toy on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. He said, what's up, Ed? Hey, tell him I said hey. Okay. So, um, sorry. Buddy had called and I had to answer his call first. So my sister's boyfriend, some of you have been asking about him. I actually did have him on video one time so far. Um, and accidentally called him Heather's boyfriend, but he was not Heather's boyfriend. It's actually my sister's boyfriend. Uh, probably the first boyfriend, other than Jeannie's father, that Becky has ever been with that I actually liked. Hey, hey, hey Beck. So, other than Ray, Rick's for like the only boyfriend that you've ever had or husband that you've ever had that I actually liked. Is that... I just got yelled at. I'm just saying, he's. A, I like him. So, but anyway, he's he's the only other one I liked, <laughs> other than Jeannie's father. So, she's like, we don't need to talk about that. Oh well, it happens. You guys know way too much information already, so it's not like, you know, I think we've talked about that a little bit before. But anyway, no, the guy that she's with now is a really good guy, and I like him, so um, that's a good thing. And, uh, but anyhow, so, uh, I think the neighbor's coming back. Looks like he was riding. Yep, there's a motorcycle. Yep. So, all right, guys. But, uh, so anyway, um... He's been really helpful. I mean, he cut the grass for me while I was gone, which I do appreciate that. And uh, so, that's where we're at. But, yeah, we had a good situation yesterday. What are you doing? Why, are you, why were you trying to sneak? I saw you trying to sneak. You were trying to be sneaky. Heather? Heather? No, no, no. <laughs> Alright guys, well anyway, uh, real quick I want to mention my website PrepperNurse1.com We have the PrepperNurse1 community there, which is a resource that we set up for you guys <coughs> Excuse me, to be able to connect with like-minded people It is free to join, you do have to register, but no credit card information is asked uh, Once you're in, check out the message boards and look for people in your state or your country and that's why we set it up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. Secondly, on my website, we have the Forefathers, which is a CBD and hemp store. Again, 
It is, uh, if you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you will see the Forefathers logo. You click on that, it will take you to the store within the, to their store um, on their website. And once you're over there, if you decide to make a CBD or hemp purchase, you can save 15% by using the discount code PrepperNurse1. All right. Uh, last but not least, we have the Legacy Freeze Dried Foods. So, again, uh, PrepperNurse1.com, click on Store, it will drop down. You will see Legacy Foods. You click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. Uh, once you're in there, if you decide to make a purchase, 25 year shelf life, GMO free, gluten options available for people that need that. It is also vegetarian. There are beef and chicken options that can be purchased separately as well. Uh, again, good thing to have in your long term. Perhaps you should be diversified. I think that is important. So I would encourage you to do so. All right. Well, anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And uh, it is uh, definitely uh, something that they use as a tool to divide us. So let's not let them do that. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right. I will see you all tonight at 8 o'clock for the live stream. I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, keep prepping, folks. That's all I can keep saying. I'll say it over and over and over again. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.